Hello shooters, thanks for watching. Uh, we've got a uh, private message exchange with one of my viewers and I appreciate those kind of uh, conversations that we have back and forth. He was kind of taking me to task on not using the proper shooting technique when I was out on the range doing uh, the man versus gun series. He, uh, he told me that I should be standing a different way and after I understood what he was talking about, he was talking about target shooting. He'd been through Appleseed and he'd learned how to shoot the Appleseed way and he uh, was under the misconception that that's the best way to use a fighting rifle and it is not nothing against Appleseed it's a fantastic program it teaches history teaches patriotism it does teach you how to target shoot but there's a world of difference between target shooting and fighting with a firearm that's what this video is going to be about um, with target shooting and this is the way that I taught I haven't been through Appleseed I gotta say that right up front I've been uh, around some Appleseed courses but I have never been through Appleseed. I have been through United States Marine Corps boot camp. And anybody that's been through boot camp can tell you that we spend a week learning the target shooting techniques that are taught there. Respiratory pause, natural point of aim, uh, all that stuff. Uh, but it, it doesn't have any relevance, not much relevance, to fighting with a firearm. It's really important you learn trigger control no matter how you learn it. A flinch is a flinch no matter what discipline you're talking about, whether you're talking about target shooting or fighting with a fire, a flinch is going to miss, period. Um, but, the, but the position assumption of uh, target shooting and fighting with a firearm are totally different. Uh, in a nutshell, this is what I'm talking about. If you're standing in the standing position shooting uh, target style and the target is over there directly to my left, then I... For target shooting, you want uh, a long length of pull. And that's why all the old school rifles have a long length of pull. Because the target shooters are the ones that are shooting to the recruits. And this is how they shoot. You get your elbow up there. You get this nice pocket going on. You got to support the... You, you, you support either here with the magazine or you support up here with the, with the forearm. There's a number of ways you can do it, but it's just a support hand. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. Um, and you stand here, and you get your breath under control, and you close your eyes, when you're, and you kind of wave it around a little bit until you find a natural spot. Then you open your eyes up, and you see where you're going to miss. So you adjust your body. See, I'm finding my natural point of aim. I'm finding where my body's naturally pointing at the target, so I don't have to use muscle control to find the target. That takes so much time it'll get you killed in a firefight. Okay, that's why modern fighting long guns, we like a, a shorter length of pull because we're, fa we're facing our target. We keep both eyes open. There is no natural point of aim. Um, you're rarely standing up. You're trying to use cover as much as you can. Even the kneeling and the sitting, the way they teach you at uh, Marine Corps boot camp or the way they teach you at Appleseed, uh, that doesn't really work in the real world. Nothing says you're going to be kneeling, exact, what you're kneeling behind, that's going to dict, whatever you're behind is going to dictate what position that you're in. Uh, the prone, what, it, it, the way they teach in Marine Corps boot camp, and the way they teach at Appleseed, you're kind of at a 45 degree angle. Well, what if you're trying to hide behind like a mailbox, one of those big blue mailbox or something? Your body's got to be directly behind it, not at a 45 degree where people start shooting at your legs and your feet. So um, I shot a little video out on the range, just, just standing up. The difference between shooting uh, at a target up close, 10 yards, no, 5 yards, 10 rounds, uh, using a combat or fighting style versus a target style. And then also uh, I did movement where I'm shooting a target and uh, I got to move to another spot, move to another spot. When you're doing this kind of business, it takes longer to move and it takes longer to set up. So let's go out to the range, let's look at what I did out there, and then uh, we'll come back for some final comments. This is 10 rounds at 5 yards into a paper plate. Notice that the muzzle comes back on target extremely quickly. It doesn't rise and fall. Here you can see it come up and it takes just longer to get back on target strictly because of the way that I'm standing and the way that I'm holding it. Um, here's a video taken from the side. You can see the muzzle does rise a little bit when I'm shooting the 10 at 5, but just barely. It stays on target almost the whole time. 
comes back to, on target extremely fast and it gives a good fast time. Here you'll see more muzzle rise and it, see it, it rises up and it kind of paused there for a second before it comes back down on its own. And that's, um, that's why it just takes so much longer to get good hits. A little bit of a pause up there at the top. That's because my body's going backwards. Just set up wrong. And it's quite a bit slower. Here we have three targets set up. They're about seven yards apart. All hits have to be inside the paper plate. I'm going to be videoing this from both sides. So here's, here's from one side here. You can see that's a pretty fast way to do it. We're going to see that exact same run from a different angle. And I do pause for just a bit on that uh, third shot there. 9.82 seconds for the total run. Here we are doing the target shooting style. Notice that you're flat footed when you stand there like that. And it takes a second to even get into motion. It's just slower overall. So not only is the shooting slower, but the movement is slower too. Getting into position and getting out of position just takes additional time. Here we are from the other view. See how it rocks my upper body a little bit more too? My body's not forward on the way to my on the balls of my feet like it is in the other stance. Uh, it allow, this allows for greater muzzle rise and it takes longer for the muzzle to come back down. And it's almost twice as slow. Okay, I think that range force and pretty much uh, summed it all up. If you want to learn how to fighting with a uh, learn how to fight with a long arm, um, Marine Corps boot camp, the at least the, the the KD range, the known distance range where you're shooting at two, three, and five hundred yards, that's not not the way to do it. Um, I've understand they're tar starting to teach Marines the real way to fight with a firearm uh, in Marine Corps boot camp now, and I applaud those efforts. Appleseed, that's a fantastic program. It learns, you learn patriotism, you learn some history, um, and you do learn how to shoot targets, target shooting style, but it doesn't cross over much at all to fighting with a long arm. There's a big difference between the two, and uh, let's not get the two confused. Anyhow, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. As always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.